Dome, and Sean Payton went around and gave them a victory lap. The guy has been great since he arrived in New Orleans. The fans absolutely love him. He's done no wrong since arriving. Since this franchise came back one year ago, they've done no wrong. They hired Sean Payton. They signed Drew Brees. They drafted Reggie Bush. Now they've won a divisional playoff game and are one game away from the ultimate prize playing for a Super Bowl. That doesn't go hand in hand with New Orleans. This is an organization that has been stuck in loserdom for a long time. Only one playoff victory. But you know what? Times are changing. People feel like they're just due. This franchise is due. You can only have so many years of bad luck. Well, now things have changed, and it is the Saints' turn. The fans absolutely excited last night. One of the greatest atmospheres in the Dome. I saw grown men crying like babies last night. I almost broke down with them. They were so emotional. Absolutely great stuff. And you talked about it earlier. Deuce McAllister, one of the classiest guys in the NFL, maybe the most popular Saint next to Archie. Manning ever in franchise history has a breakout game. He puts the team on his back last night, 140 yards rushing, two touchdowns. The guy was an absolute workhorse. If somebody was going to carry this team, he's the guy. And afterwards, we had a chance to go in the locker room and talk to some of the players about what the offense did and about the party afterwards. I mean, we can't say enough about our running game, our whole offense. I mean, they put enough points up to get the W. I mean, our offensive line with the run game, Deuce was relentless. Reggie, you know, made some plays out there. Drew made plays. I mean, there's a total, you know, team victory for us. So, I mean, we just want to take it in and, uh, you know, look at the tape and, you know, see see the areas that we definitely need to improve for next week. I'm about to see. I know I know it was off the chain in here, so I know everywhere. It's, 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 it's feeling real good, so I'm about to get out there in the atmosphere myself and see what it's looking like. You know what, I think Mike McKenzie's right. The entire city was off the chain last night. It was like Mardi Gras in the French Quarter in the Warehouse District, Lucy's Republic, all these places. I've never seen so many people wearing Saints jerseys. It was like, uh, literally like Mardi Gras. People were dressed up for Carnival. People were dressed up wearing their Drew Brees, their Reggie Bush, their Deuce McAllister jerseys everywhere throughout the city. They're probably still partying right now. I wish we were at a bar because they got to have people partying in this city right now from that big win last night. Now, the Saints will play into the Chicago Bears or the Seattle Seahawks. That game is this afternoon. The Saints will play the winner of that game, and the winner will advance to Super Bowl 41 in Miami, Florida. If the Seahawks win today, the Saints will play the Seahawks in the Superdome right behind me, and fans will probably blow the roof off of that place where, trying to play to go to the Super Bowl. If the Chicago Bears win today. That game will be in the Windy City. We're going to have plenty more throughout this newscast and at 5 and 10 o'clock today. For now, though, reporting from the Superdome, I'm Fletcher Mackel, WDSU News Channel 6. You know, we can talk on and on about this game. It meant so much to so many fans and so much to the whole city. But what was your single most favorite moment of the game? My favorite moment was when Deuce McAllister scored that last touchdown to put them on top because really the Philadelphia Eagles came out in the second half and jumped up on the Saints and you could have heard a pin drop in the place. But really when Deuce McAllister got going in the second half and scored those two touchdowns and then iced the game at the end, they gave him the ball at the end and said run the clock out and he ran the clock out for him. That was my favorite moment when they could just take a knee and say we won this ball game. Sean Payton was cheering on the sidelines and the level of fans cheering was absolutely deafening. That was absolutely my favorite moment last night. A, a magical night here in the Superdome. There are not enough adjectives. I'm not smart enough to think of enough adjectives <laughs> to describe what was happening here in the Superdome last night. You see how wired I am, and I'm working on about three <laughs> hours of sleep. I, I think everybody in the city is going to be on a Saints high today. Well, Fletcher, all I'm right. going to say is this. I'll see you at the Super Bowl. <laughs> Let, you know what? I think we're all going to Miami, Florida. That's going to be quite unbelievable. Count me in. Sounds good to me. Thanks, Fletcher. And our Saints coverage continues. No, I mean, I approached it, you know, all week as, you know, as game number 17 of the season. Um, you know, we it, once you get out there, you know, through, through all the hype and everything, it's still 60 minutes of football. So, um, you know, that's the way I approached it all week. One of the two teams that you that you will play next week are either Seattle or Chicago. Do you know anything about those two teams? No, not too much. I haven't seen them on film a lot. But, um, you know, I'm definitely sure that they're two good teams and, you know, anxious to get prepared for, for whoever we're facing next.
It's an exciting night, exciting year for me, man, personally. I know I would love to play to help my football team, but a lot of guys, I talked to a lot of guys, and they knew they knew how hurt I was and wanted to be out there. And, and it's hard to be the football team. Team, it's hard to be the football team. And that's what the New Orleans Saints is. What's it like seeing Deuce running things on carrying two man, teams, helmet comes man, off? Man, man, I was, I, was, I, was I was lucky to be on the sideline. I was able to see these guys when they were going through it. And outside looking in, I saw, and they were saying some things to me, and, 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 and Deuce in his eyes, he was wanting the bag. And so did Reggie, and so did everybody. And, and, and he kept saying, Joe, it's, it's going to happen. It's gonna happen, and I was I was believing it, man. I was just believing it, so I'm happy. This is the biggest party you've ever seen. Excuse me. Biggest party you've ever seen. It should be. It should be the biggest party the Saints, I mean, the, the, the city ever, has ever had. Just to have an opportunity to play for the Super Bowl. Oh man. Oh man, it's gonna be a lot of people not even going to work tomorrow. <laughs> you see, everybody's aware of you know Hurricane Katrina and, and everything that went on with that. So. It's, uh, it's huge for the city, and, um, you know, we hopefully we just keep winning. And it was all right for Mardi Gras early in the Superdome. Three wins last year. Saints had 10. Andy Reid's team went from last to first as well. And early on, hello, playoffs. Oh, oh, oh. Sheldon Brown against Reggie Bush. And, wow. fellas, he got just the oh, only somebody's coaching. He certainly would respond. How would he respond? He's bottled up? No, he's not bottled up. And what? To the corner, and the Saints lead it 13 7. Reggie, meet Reggie. Brian Westbrook able to leap tall buildings with a single bound. Woo! That, that counts as passing yards through the air, not rushing <laughs> yards. Eagles lead 14 13. Drew Breach. To Marcus Colson, it's the end of the half. What do you do on Hail Mary? Knock it down! There you go! Oh, he almost caught it, but he didn't. And the Eagles lead it 21 to 13. They had the long pass to Stalwart. The former Saint. Look at how close that was. But so now here come the Saint. Deuce. Wow, this is Brian Westbrook, and he is going to roll 62 yards. Going all the way, 21-13. Here comes Philly now with the eight-point lead in the third quarter. Roll now. First and goal, Saints Deuce oh, was on the loose. Push, 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 push. <laughs> 21 to 20, move that pile. <laughs> now later in the third, Breeze. Deuce can get out in the flat. Uh -oh, and uh -oh. Whoa, oh, Jeremiah oh, Trotter, oh, who was a bullfrog. Yeah. Touchdown, and the Saints down eight. March to a 27-21 lead. But then no turnovers till three and a half minutes. Uh oh, pitch away from Bush and Darren Howard falls on the ball. Philly needs a field goal to tie and a touch to go ahead. Oh. Jeff Garcia, fourth and ten. How does he avoid the rush? It's a basket Great catch throw. by Hank Basketfoot. Illegal oh, procedure. Crowd noise. That. Oh, and on fourth and 15, Andy Reid punts it. It's a fair catch. Can they hold him? No. Deuce. No. First down. Tommy reminds me of the drive. When the little run was yeah. made by Otis Armstrong, yeah, Otis Armstrong in your Armstrong. game. Yep. No, you know where I'm going good. with that. Yep. And they know they have it. And the Saints down 21-13 in a game they've much anticipated. Now they're going to the championship game. They win 27-24. What a game and what a night for the city of New Orleans. This game is, you know, it's even bigger for the city, you know, just because of obviously everybody's aware of, you know, Hurricane Katrina and, and everything that went on with that. So it's uh, it's huge for the city, and, um, you know, we hopefully we just keep winning. I couldn't be happier for, you know, the people in this town have been through so much. Our fans here uh, are fantastic, and they were a big part of this win tonight. They've been a big part of our season all year. Well, that's kind of a different way to get yes. us started today. Yeah, yeah, not really if you like that yeah. yesterday, wait till today's games. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Sunday NFL Countdown. The Saints are marching. It was a superior game. Coach Ditka, Michael Irvin, Tom Jackson. Pinstripes are in, apparently, as you'll see. <laughs> Ron Jaworski, uh, Steve Young shortly. Mort in a little while. And Big Ben Roethlisberger mm -hmm. from last year's mm -hmm. champion mm -hmm. Pittsburgh mm -hmm. Steelers. Pinstriped as well, ready to talk <laughs> football with us for a couple of hours. So let's first talk about the Saints before we even get into today's game. Look, they're the number one team in, in, in offense in football, 430-plus yards again. What did we learn about the Saints that we didn't even know 
before last night. Well, uh, Boom, it's actually something that I already knew, but I want to reemphasize, and that it is a, it is about the team, the team, the team. When, when you look at the teams that are moving on, whether it's the Saints or whether it's the Colts, it is about guys playing for each other. You don't hear any of that trash talk about the coach is not doing this, I'm not getting enough balls, yeah. and I'm not talking yeah. about anybody specifically. Really I'm just saying it's always about the team first. Remember that. Yeah, and it's even more impressive when you consider that they beat a quality football yep. team in the Philadelphia the Eagles. It was two heavyweights going at it for 60 minutes. And conventional wisdom told us that, you know, the Saints were the new kid on the block. They weren't ready to handle the playoff pressure. Well, they were ready. They played with tremendous focus, tremendous discipline, and of course, that emotion of the Superdome. Yeah, Josh, I was like you. I kept watching and waiting for them to crack yep. because Philadelphia kept pressure on them. They would score. Philadelphia comes right back and score. But that team kept their cool and they kept playing hard. And let me tell you something else. I didn't know that they could be that physical of a football mm, team. Mm. They manhandled the Eagles' jaws oh, late. Man, I'm just putting that out on the ground. Well, well, I, I, I got to tell you, shot it all started. There's a progression. The fans, I mean, the fans were fantastic. They've been resilient. They've persevered. They've been loyal. And they finally are getting rewarded. Yeah. But I got to credit Mickey Loomis for doing a couple of things. He brought a great coach there. Sean mm -hmm. Payton is oh, a fine yeah. young coach. He brought a great quarterback there, Drew Brees. He got a great player in Reggie Bush. Now, what Sean Payton did, he made these guys believe they have a right to win. And they got the talent to win. And they did win. And you know what he did? Yeah. You know what he did? He was Great him. passing there without uh, <laughs> Lito Shepard. Oh, I'm going to look at the game film seven weeks ago when the Colts ran through the Eagles. That's how I'm going to attack. And I found that very interesting that they ran for 200 yards when yep. Chalk said throw because the best right, corner is right. out. And another thing you learn about the Saints, that front four on defense. Pretty good. Pretty that, good. that unit yep. is pretty good. Congrats to the Saints and the Eagles. One turnover between the two teams. That's playoff football. This is playoff.